I don't know. I think that humans are way different than other fucking animals. I'm going to tell you that shit right now. I'm not playing with this. This is fucking silly talk. You guys are killing me with this evolution thing. Okay. You are killing me with it. Okay. Like, I'm not a scientist. Let's go ahead and say that. I'm just a dude, and I think that evolution is fucking bullshit. <laughs> I think it's a ridiculous talk that we talk about this. Now, I want to say quickly, also, I'm going to preface this by saying that I clearly don't know what I'm saying in terms of like any scientific stuff, so don't take this as truth. But in my personal opinion, it seems like there can be evolution. Like, I get that. You know, species evolve. <laughs> I mean, with the with the climate or with their uh, their food sources, whatever the case may be, they're going to evolve so that they can uh, survive. So, you know, and you can breed dogs to look like you know nineteen different types of dogs. It's fucking nutty. You know, so I mean, this a dog was once just a dog. Like I, I get all that once they got domesticated maybe it's like a wolf right and you just like domesticate the shit out of it and it turns into something else and i mean this is done over you know tens of thousands of years maybe i don't know fucking hell i'm not a scientist but i'll tell you this much there has never ever ever been a missing link found now darwin himself said hey man i'm basing this theory upon discoveries that have not yet been discovered Okay, this theory makes sense, but I don't have any bones to back it up because what I'm saying is, is that there was once a cat and it evolved into a dog. I've never seen a half cat, half dog of you. That would be crazy, though, because I like cats, man. I like dogs, too, but geez, they're just so slobbery and dumb, man. I like them. Maybe, maybe I just like the little ones that don't slobber like crazy. Then jump. I mean, I like playing with dogs jumping on you and stuff. I like that stuff. But cats, I don't know, man. They just kind of mind their business. And I used to have this one cat once that would let me pick its toenails. And it could also fetch beer caps. That was a cool fucking cat, man. He was big and fat and white. And I used to put a bow tie on him. That was a cool cat. But I've never seen a half cat, half dog. I want one of those. Maybe that's what my cat was. My cat was the missing link. It could fetch. So that maybe my cat was the half cat, half dog, you know, and he was all docile and let me like pick his toenails. It was weird. He would lay on his fat back <laughs> with his legs plopped up in the air and I'd put my arm around him and I just pick its toenails. It was strange and he had weird frayed toenails. So I'd have to pull with these little frays. It's very strange. And I know it's very gross seeing as how they're like in litter boxes and stuff like that. And I'm over there picking its toenails and probably picking my nose right after that. It's probably not a good thing. I mean, I was like 21 or something. All right. My point, it, that's not my point. My point is, is that I've never seen a half, you know, cow, half eagle. <laughs> no one's ever found those bones. All right. So Darwin is basing his theory upon that they're going to find missing links between species. All right, they're going to find these, you know, half cat, half dogs. They're going to find half fish, half birds. You know, they're going to find a half ape, half human. That has never fucking happened. And Darwin himself said, hey, if you, I'm basing my theory upon the, these discoveries that you have not yet discovered, these fossils that have not yet been found. But if you can't find these fossils, then my theory is bullshit. I'm pretty sure that's how he quoted it as well. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. I'm not 100% sure. I wasn't there, but that's the rumor on the street. That this rumor is, that this theory is bullshit. And I believe him. I'm on Darwin's side. I'm a Darwinist. I follow what he said. And that is, if you have not found any missing links, then my theory is bullshit. And I agree with him 100%. Another thing about evolution that freaks me the fuck out that no one ever talks about is blood types. Blood types are fucking weird, man. There's like a bunch of them. So there's O, there's A, there's B, there's AB. But something that people don't really understand that has to do with the, um, the ending section. So you understand, you know, I'm, a, I'm an O positive. Okay. I'm an O negative. 
okay, what's the difference between that? Why is one positive and one negative? What does that mean? A lot of people don't really know much about that. And I'm not a scientist again, so don't take my shit as fucking fact, but go look it up if you're curious if I'm wrong or right. I don't know. But my understanding of it is this. All throughout nature, like every other mammal on the planet, whether it's a monkey, a cat, a dog, a squirrel, anything that's like a mammal, right, and covered in, in hair, it has blood in it that's red, you know, it's, it's a mammal. Every mammal on the planet is a, I, I, you know, whether, what blood type, we'll say it's an A, right? But this is like monkey A or like dog A, right? It's like dog A positive. It's dog B positive, okay? Or maybe it's cat A positive, you know? Maybe they have a C for cats, you know, like a C positive, cat C positive. I don't know. I would do that. But um, instead of like A, B, fuck that, man. Why, why can't we have a C? What's wrong with C? Especially if it's a cat. Use that on a cat. You got these, uh, it, these different blood types. And in humans, um, there's this negative. Where does that come from? Okay. Because every other mammal has a positive. Why does this human person have an O negative? This bird is O positive. You know, this, this dog is O positive. There, it's called a rhesus factor. Rhesus, something like that, factor in the blood. It's the RH factor. And it is RH positive for every other mammal on the planet. But human beings have this weird RH negative thing. What is that? I'll tell you what it is. A mystery. A fucking mystery that nobody talks about. Because here's the thing. The positive, like, the, oh, okay, um, if, a, if a human being, okay, let's say a man who is O positive, because humans are positive, most are positive, just some of them are negative. Let's say the father's O positive, right? The positive is dominant. Sometimes, you know, a mother and father get together and, and make a baby, and it'll be a, a negative baby. Sometimes. But the positive is dominant, okay? So let's say now the mother's impregnated, the child within her is O positive. The mother's O negative blood will fight off the O positive child as if it is a cancer or something. It like attacks it with like its white blood cells and shit and just gets all gangster and kills the baby. Miscarriage. Nowadays, they have a thing called a Rogam shot. And what it does is it, it, it somehow, I don't know, builds in my mind, it builds like this weird bubble protective layer that will protect the child from the mother's blood. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Check this out. Let's say the mother is O positive, right? And the child within her is now O negative. The blood will still do the same thing. You know, it's just, it's incompatible. Incompatible. It is very strange that a, a, a species of human, right? Just... Some dude, some chick. They're both human beings. But these can't mate with each other. Or if they do, there's a much higher risk of a miscarriage. It's a very strange thing. And you can kind of be like, well, maybe it's just some sort of genetic mutation of some sort. It's some sort of uh, evolutionary something or another. Maybe. Maybe. That, that's, that's maybe it. But we're still not explaining why. If we all evolved as mammals, like, okay, we all evolved according to Darwin's original theory, right? You know, and a, a, a human was once an ape. Why, is all, why do all apes, why are they all have this positive blood type, right? Because it's dominant. So they all have, you know, O positive blood types. Why is there some humans, since we evolved from apes, why are they O negative? Like, how did that happen? Okay, that means that there's no way in God's green fucking earth <laughs> that we could have evolved from a monkey because they're all that blood type. 
And it's not a genetic mutation of some sort. It is like, it is built into you the same way that is built into like your DNA. Like you can't alter that. There's no like root that you can chew on and all of a sudden you're an RH negative instead of RH positive. No, it's like the same as like your genes. You can't manipulate that. But somehow these humans over here are RH negative. And I, I can't remember the statistic. Maybe it's like 12% of people. I don't know. And they have like charts that there's different sections around the world that there's more of those types of people, um, the RH negative people, are, you know, are kind of clustered in certain sections as well, which is very strange. But that's something that no one even understands. And no one's even attempt to ask, to like, to ask the question or to answer it. Because no one gets it. And that's something I think that we need to be discussing, like, right the fuck now. Okay, this isn't like some religious you know, stuff. This isn't like any sort of, like, the Spirit of God made you RH negative. I'm not saying that at all. I am saying we need to figure out why that is. And that's what separates us. And we need to stop talking shit about how we came from monkeys or something. That's fucking silly talk. I've never seen a missing link to any mammal anywhere. No half cat, half dogs anywhere that I've ever fucking seen. I've never seen a half man, half ape either. Never seen any of that shit. Never found any of those. And now we've got this weird blood type that's completely different than every other blood type on the planet. And that's just kind of like a thing that we just don't really, we, uh, it just happens that way. Okay, that's fucking really, really, really dismissive. <laughs> that's something that I think that should be like number one on the list for us to kind of figure out what differentiates us from our surroundings, and we can all say, well, it's our logic, and it's our, our ability to reason, it's our ability to do all the things that humans can do that nothing else can do, and we're like, okay, well, why does that make us special? We're, we're just another animal. No, we're not. No, the fuck not, we're not. I don't know where we came from. If we came from God, we came from aliens, we came from, I mean, that's the crazy thing. You've heard those crazy ancient alien stories, right? I don't know. Maybe. It seems about as likely as any other scenario, <laughs> you know, or we live in a hologram, right? We heard that one. And maybe it seems about as likely as any other scenario, you know, when they're starting to break down what, what we're surrounded with, what like existence is, right? It's like atoms and shit. And then like, uh, you can zoom in even closer. And now we have these subatomic, uh, subatomic particles and we're looking at those and then we're realizing that in between that is all just like space. It's like nothing in there. And so essentially, we are looking at a hologram. And then you get down to the, the smallest of the small, break down that kind of hologram thing as small as it can go. And it blinks in and out of existence. It's magic. It's like fucking craziness. It's it's not it's like un, it's unlike anything else that we could have possibly imagined, and just like okay, and everyone's just like okay, well that's just the way it is, I guess. And it's like kind of, it's, yeah, that is the way it is. But it, I don't know why we're being so dismissive. That's fucking crazy. What? The smallest thing that we can measure blinks in and out of existence, and it all stems from that thing. So that's like all we're surrounded by is shit that blinks in and out of existence at will, at the smallest level. What? This is really weird, man. We're in some crazy shit right now. Is it? Is it some sort of like weird holographic reality that's, I don't know, it maybe comes out of a computer? People have been talking about that. It really gained a lot of popularity over the past year. I think that's kind of a silly, silly thing. Though I did make a movie about it once, or at least I referenced it. This movie called Kitty Club Goes on a Drug Deal. And, and I thought that it was weird that... Um, they had kind of discovered this sort of um, thing. There was some sort of tie up to oh it, oh um, they they found binary code. It's too weird. Just get on YouTube. Look up like just look up shit. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that right now. It's too horrifying.